Magnify our Lord, magnify the Father, magnify Christ our Lord, our Lord, magnify Him, magnify Him, magnify Christ our Lord. Our Lord, our Lord, I say, Christ, our Lord, our Lord, our Him, I say, Christ our Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some of you may be wondering why um, I took this our mama here. And I said she should come from where she was sitting to come and sit with us. I have not even introduced her to my queen. There is someone to be introduced to you, mommy. You see this woman, mom. When we, the day we did the widow's party, because of your busy schedule and other things you were doing in this house, you were not present. A day before that day, the Lord gave me the number of this woman. Say, I should call this number. I called the number. This is the woman. Okay. He said, call, this woman was mentioned to me. Divine approval. I don't know her. That day at the widow's party was my first time of seeing this woman. I called, she answered. Today she is here. Amen. Physically she is a widow, but spiritually she is not a widow. Amen. And I want you to recognize her as a member of this household. Mm. She's my family. Uh -huh. Mama. Uh -huh. Mama, stand up, stand up. Mama. So, uh, everybody testify, you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody testify. You are good, you are good, Jehovah, you are good. Before we commence this, today is... Uh, uh, my mommy, how many years of marriage, my queen? 28. 28 years. I think, I think we don't try small. Yes, sir. You are all welcome to the abode, the residence of the having of the last covenant. Yes. Most of the people that you see here, they live in this compound with me. They are with me here, brothers and sisters. But apart from them, I so thank you all for those that in the neighborhood and members of my mission, some of them here that uh, have better time to come and join us. You are all welcome. And uh, like I was saying, this is our mama here. She is going to make the opening prayer, mama. Pray. Jehovah, 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 Anywhere you are, you close your eyes. I want to entertain you with one, uh, one stanza of a hymn. You know, some of you don't know that I know how to play this in small. Small. I'm going to play a hymn that says, Almighty Creator, praise the handwork of you, of his. Some of you know how to sing that song. When we say, Almighty Creator, 
Yea, on the walk of peace, sun, moon, and stars, the firmament, sing your maker's praise. Amen. Let me try if I can get this more here. song say almighty creator praise ye hand work of his sun moon the stars and the firmament all sing our maker's praise amen, amen. one two go almighty creator praise ye on the work of his sun Stars, the firmament, sing your maker's praise. Let us pray. Almighty Father, in the mighty name of the eternal, we thank you for a moment like this. Thank you, Almighty Father whose spirit is everywhere at all times, managing the affairs of the entire universal systems, who has set a standard, also even a decree, upon the seed of the righteous, unto all generations, even unto this day, that nothing evil shall befall them, Amen. physically or spiritually. Amen. Father, thank you for this one. That, are, that have come to say, okay, let us put together this little location in the abode of your servant, the having of the last covenant by mercy. They want to appreciate us, me and your daughter, for 28 years of marriage. But today, here and now, whereas we are, thank you, Almighty Father, the doer of all things, I use this moment to lift up all your sons and daughters all over the world into your hand. Amen. The spinsters and the bachelors that are seeking for husbands and wives anywhere they are in our planet, I lift them up into your hand. Amen. And especially your chosen ones in their midst, let them never be led astray. Amen. Because it has been said, that wedding is not marriage. Rather, wedding is the beginning of, of an undertaking that may or may not result into marriage. And marriage itself is based on love. Anything outside that is null and void. Therefore, Father, the young ones coming up, guide them by your spirit Amen. that unity will occur in love. Amen. Remove every iota of manipulation. And even all those that are living in their various homes and marriages, the men that are living with the dry leaves, that have ruined their lives, I use this opportunity by the authority you've given to me to request, Father, that you raise the standard to set, set such captives free. Amen. You know how to go about it. Amen. For any of your choosing one in this world, a man, and is in the enclave of a conscious craft, also, even in the enclave of a smoking craft, as well as the enclave of acute dry leaves that has kept them perpetually subjugated, delivered all those your sons and, uh, uh, all over the world. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And anywhere also that you have daughters of Zion, even daughters whose existence are rooted in the primordial blood of the sheep, and they are now held bound by craft, by, the, by, by, by manipulations, in the name of marriages. Father, deliver them. Amen. You know how to deliver them all. Amen. 
in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And Father, I also ask this moment that all the ones that already existed in your light, chosen, and also even upon the threshold of blessedness and the tabernacle thereof, bring forth increase in their midst. Amen. The increase of spiritual blessings. Amen. The increase of material blessings. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And all the widows in different parts of the world, even your choosing ones, that are suffering in that widowhood, Father, send them help us. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty Father, sustain of all that is. As we enter into the new year, this year, 2024, we commit it into your hand. Amen. We thank you because there will be excellence of spirit Amen. in your light. Amen. For you have said to me that in the year 2024, mm. many shall witness a rise Amen. and many shall witness a fall. Amen. The seed of the wicked has been brought low mm. and they will no longer triumph. Amen. The seed of righteous, mm. Father, you have caused them to take over in all jurisdictions of men, Amen. in all affairs of en and enclaves, Amen. all the powers of darkness tormenting humanity. Amen. Thank you because their time is over before you. Amen. And those of them that have refused to relinquish their duty post, you have sent forth mighty ones that they know not of, even from the foundation, Amen. to chase them away, to, to disconfit them, Amen. to bamboozle them, Amen. to cause them to be chained down Amen. in the mighty name of the internal. Amen. Father, all those that are rejoicing with us here, my biological children, my family children, my spiritual children, those that are those not here, those that have entered into this compound, you say that anyone that crosses in, into, this, into the compound and enters into the boat of the having of the last covenant must receive a touch. Amen. If, the person is, if the person is a craft, the craft stands abolished. Amen. If the person is in the light, light is added to light. Amen. I thank you for all of them here. Amen. Father, the little thing we have to share with your children, we pray that you bless them all. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Father. Amen. And also pray for our partners all over the world Amen. who have been standing by us. Father, bless them. Amen. This year, 2024, they will all experience excellence Amen. in your light, Amen. in your peace, Amen. in your mercy, Amen. in your divine justice, Amen. in your spiritual blessing, Amen. in your material blessing, Amen. in your spiritual blessing, Amen. in your material blessing, Amen. in your spiritual blessing. Amen. Your material blessings. Amen. In the mighty name of the eternal. Amen. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please sit down. I want to read briefly the book of um, Colossians, chapter 3. Colossians, chapter 3. Verse 17. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17 says, And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Amen. Amen. Whatsoever you do in your word, the word you speak, in your action, the actions you perform, make sure that you are coordinated in light. Try as much as light in you to use your words and your actions to manifest light. That is the duty of man, the fundamental duty of man. In any endeavor where you are, whether you are the president of a country, whether you are a prime minister or governor of any jurisdiction, king or emperor, queen, whatever is your position even in the, in the religious cycle, whatever title that you have, endeavor to use uh, this thing, your words and your actions to promote thanksgiving unto the throne. When you fell there, you have failed. Don't be among those that when they speak, 
pain comes out. And the result of this. Speak. Don't say, I have bad mouth. Bad mouth does not help in marriage. I hope you know. So many, there are people who say, in Igbo, they say, what age you have? That's the beginning. Huh? I know, I hear you, I hear you. You hear me? So any woman there again. What age you have? That's the beginning. Do you know what that means? He said, if you do not have wealth, have good words. But some of us here in this world, we don't have wealth. And bad mouth is what we have. As you said in the marriage. No, is that not, 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 not an entanglement? Eh? I've told you here how a man, you know, the, the wife of a man reported to me someday. And the, that, the, that man, the eyes saw the ear. In certain kind of poverty. And when everything was stressed, it went to one, one word, just one word spoken. Because the wife, he was going at the wife, say, I want to eat fried rice. The man turned to the wife, said, Look, look, look at the mouth you was used to eat fried rice. Nonsense. The man walked away. Does he know that that word was recorded? He didn't know. So, uh, if a, a man, doesn't have money and he has bad mouth. He has become two things. He has become what is called Ubay and Amusu. <laughs> you know what is called Ubay and Amusu? <laughs> our, people, our people also say that it is not good to be a poor man and be a wizard. No. Ah! You see? Ah! Somebody is poor. And when you check his life again, he's a wizard. Huh? What type of life is that? Is that not a child of perdition? Is that not a vessel of dishonor? He didn't say your words only. He said also your action. Nobody should be advising you what to do. Don't wait for your mother, your father to advise you, your brother. Let the spirit of God in you advise you so that you can build. You should learn how to build the relationship. I am not saying I have learned enough. 28 years, but at least maybe they can give me small mark, isn't it? Yeah. Mommy, you never give me mark. Ah, plenty. Of Aha, plenty mark. Because there are many things you have to ignore, many things you have to forego. I used to tell men that do you know that every woman in this world has the right to wake up and tell his husband, her husband, that, look, my husband, I want to go tomorrow and buy me a aeroplane. And let me tell you, maybe the woman even, uh, you call the woman a few hours ago and say, my wife, look, I don't have even up to $500 in my life. The wife says, oh, sorry about that, sorry. But she can come back the next one hour and say, hey, my husband, come, 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 come. come. See that motor that passed there. I want to buy it tomorrow. Do you, don't you see that such things used to happen? Ask all these married women here. They know what I'm talking about. That thing, if you understand the inner psychology Eh, of the womanhood, you will know that what is needed that time is good words. Yeah. <laughs> Not the money. Because you don't have the money. You have already told that you don't have the money. But that, let me tell you, that time, if you bring anger, say, come, boom, this woman. Eh? So I told you two hours ago that I don't have more than $500. And you are asking me to go, go and buy, buy a car. You are a, wiz, you are, you are a, wiz, you are a wizard. You are a witchcraft. What do you think is going to happen? Is it not quarrel? And let me tell you, whenever a man and his wife are quarreling, whenever a man and his wife are quarreling, do you know what, what they are doing? Unknown to them. They open the gate. It's just like this gate of this compound now. Huh? Yeah, you put a, look at a John and other policemen, they're here. Quarreling means that John has gone away. Everybody left. Huh? And the armed robbers are there. And the, the, cop, the couples are in the backyard, they're fighting. Robbers come inside and pack. So if you know the meaning of quarrel, nobody will tell you not to quarrel yourself. Then you, after quarreling, you say, Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ will forgive you. But what about the things stolen? Do you know what you are going to do to restore them? Is it not easy to destroy than to, 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 to build? It is easy to build, uh, to destroy than to build. You see? So, we want to tell you, 
That if you don't have money, you will have money. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But begin with good words. Good words. Huh? When you don't have good words in your, heart, in your mouth. Do you think that the, the mind, the heart of your wife is with you in that house? Uh, when you see all these people moving around now, it's not good words that they, they're using. A man used to get a woman relationship in the first place. After you get her, finish. You, you forget about good words. All the promises you made to her, you forget about it. Huh? Some women are suffering in bondage in the name of marriage. Suffering seriously. Some women are even breadwinners in their, in, in, their, in their various families and they're not even appreciated. You need to see how what is happening in this world today. You see, if so, in some families, eh, men have taken it as, as secret as a secret right. They gallivant around, and even when they come, they say, oh, Woman, what did you cook? But there's no, you didn't give the man money to cook anything, and the man dare not talk. You see, is that not bondage? And, the, and tomorrow, you see the man walking and say, Jesus Christ, come and help me. I am telling you now, by the authority given to me, anywhere you would watch this message, Jesus Christ will not help you, except you change. But if you say Jesus Christ will come and help you upon that platform where you are. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm sure that some of you, anywhere you are watching me, if you watch your prayer, you have made it for long. Ten years ago, you are still in the prayer. Uh -huh. Fifteen years ago, you are still praying for that Jesus Christ to come and help you. Do you know the meaning of the delay? Because you have bad mouth. And you have no money. But if that woman that you have, especially if she's a blessed woman, all you, you need to do is to oil her hand. You oil her hand. You know that. Look at my daughter there. That's my last born. Born by my queen. Mm -hmm. She used to behave like my mother. Sometimes when my mother uh, comes, I, I take some money and say, Mama, this is for you. You see, all her face will change. She will still laugh, will come out. Sometimes she will even bend down like this and start dancing. So we're singing. So we're singing. Agala mama oyele ye. Agala mama oyele. Agala mama. Agala mama. You see now. And that song means, oh, without a child, who would have given to me? Without a child, who would have given to me? She will not sing that song except to give her something. You know? So let, let let me tell you. The moment you see a woman. And you are punishing her. And you see, I blame some of these, those women too. Because they rely on the flesh, not in the spirit. You must, anywhere you are listening to me in this planet, you must take care of the woman that God, that, that, that is with you. If you want God to take care of you. Some of you are poor and down. Because of your stinginess. You are very stingy. Have you not heard that it is more blessed to give than to receive? It is more blessed to give than to receive. And charity begins where? Uh, begin there. But from where? Some of us will say now. Some of us even have the mental pattern that. I, don't, I remember one, one day I was sitting in a matter between a man and his. Uh, you see, the man is a high chief. When you see high chief, it's an Igbo man, high chief. He came with his wife, that was an issue. I told you, I told you, before I say, let us pray, the wife said, let us ease herself. As the, man went to his, uh, the woman went to ease herself. The man said, I have been the last camera. I know you are a prophet of God, but you are a woman for. You are a woman for. That means you are also a child of Debo. I said, well, what does that mean? He said, let me tell you. As a Debo man, if you see that your wife is getting big money, look for a way to eat it down. You see? And I told him, I said, I said, Chief, look at me. Focus your eyes on me. I want to tell you something. He focused his eyes on me. I said, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> because that is the word of Satan. How can, how can there be progress? The woman is struggling. The little thing she makes. Ah, uh, when you see that, you say, okay. 
You devise a means to eat it off. Do you know that some men are very humble when they see that their wives have money? The, and that is the humility is to have to find a way to. That's why I see many women today, all over the world, they don't even tell men how much they have again. And some of them are jealous of their wives. Those things need not to be. I remember when my wife used to, before she became, uh, you know, self employed or she was working, even during her national youth service in Nigeria. After the, uh, she graduated university in Nigeria, some of you are not Nigerians, you may be watching me. I will have NYAC, National Youth Service Corps, in Nigeria. We are, when you finish, you graduate university, you do one year service, compulsory service for the nation. When she was doing it, that was when she started receiving her first salary because they give them money. And even when she finished, I was working somewhere. Eh? That's, it's at the end of the month, my wife will carry her money and came and kneel down and say, my daddy, this is my son. I, I placed my hand on it. I said, the Lord has blessed you and blessed your sweat and the fruit of your labor. Amen. She said, no, I'll bring it for I said, no. He said, what? I said, look, that is not the part of a wise man. Any man that does this thing is going, will go downward. It is your money. And my eye will never be in it. You should never put your eye. Whether your woman is any millions or whatever. That, 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 that is not being your. If she's earning 10 million and you are, you, you, you are earning 500, from that your 500, make sure you buy her something from it. Buy her perfume. Buy her things. That is what should be done. And if you continue to do that, you will see that you will always grow. You, if your life is properly checked, you will always see growth. 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 But if you put your mind that I am this woman, one woman told me how she was, she was the, the cooking food. The, the husband, she was talking, the, the, the husband. And as soon as the husband came, you notice he hide the food inside the carton. I said, why did you do that? He said, the man did, doesn't give me money to cook. And when I receive my salary, one of the things the man does is that he will bring his friends. He will not bring one or two, he will bring about three friends. The food that the woman cooks for the children, her children, the children of the man, the man will bring friends to eat it off, to show that, yeah, we have money. But he will not contribute a dime. When he did that for a long time, the woman had devised a means. As the man, as the man, he will hide the food. <laughs> is that the type of marriage you want? I don't want that type of marriage. That place we read in the Bible, you say, you have that place, you have it here. Dickness and face. Huh? I bring my, 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 okay. Can you read it? Let this daughter of Zion, Dickness, proceed. And face, read that, our text once again. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Whatsoever. Listen, and whatsoever. What, listen, whatsoever. Do you know the meaning of whatsoever? Anything you find yourself doing in this world, yes? Ye do in word or deed. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Anything you are doing in your words, you are saying with your mouth, or your action, your deeds. He said, do it all in the name of the eternal. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the Savior, the Spirit of the Savior, the legitimate Spirit of Christ, will ensure that you, will, you attain excellence because you have put Him first. When you leave this and do on your own, eh, then you remain on your own. Don't think that Christ is. Christ is not church. Christ is not religion. Christ is the legitimate Spirit of the Almighty God. Anywhere. You can access that Spirit even if you are in the forest. In the mountain, in the desert, in the house, anywhere you are, for as long as you are found worthy by the angelic beings that you have kept to the rule, eh? then you will see what heavens will do. The problem is not with the heaven, it is with us on earth. It is us that have refused to bend towards heaven. And we expect heaven to come. You see, some people, after doing all this, they go to Jesus, bless me. They, they say that I will pray, blessing will come. And you are not seeing the blessing. Some of us, the blessing you are looking for up is you've already down. That some of us here, yeah, that woman you see every day in your house, that is the blessing. But you are cheating that you are walking on her head. That is to, to, you are frying granite on her head with your intellect. In the in the area of Karanishi. Yes? Giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Giving thanks to God by and the Father by him in whatever you do. Let me tell you, today, we are not here, in this my, our house here, 
We are not here to say, oh, we are celebrating marriage, anniversary, uh, this and that. That's, even before I came out here, yeah, I told the Lord, I said, what I'm going to celebrate is your word, not just marriage. Because Jesus Christ said, at the end of time, that there shall be marriage. One of the signs is marriage and giving in marriage. Uh, that marriage is, is, is a worldly thing. There's no marriage in, the, in heaven, in, the, in, in certain dimensions. So if you celebrate it in a worldly way, you're your own. But I now tell the Lord, I said, I'm going to celebrate. That day you told me, look for a sister and bring for me. I brought forth one and you rejected. I later discovered that that was a craft of darkness, born by, from bed. And when this one came forth, you said to me that she has been my sister, even in a different dimension. And here today, we are the what people call husband and wife. And that she is come forth for a rescue. That is what is happening. <laughs> In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Anywhere you are listening to me, lay your foundation well. You see this marriage with the here. A man and woman. Not to marry anything you anytime you see man and woman. Eh? Our people say woman is like B. B. I think you know what B is. If, if you treat B well, it gives you honey. Not be so. If you treat B badly. You can block off your eyes. You can never be taller than somebody and be shorter than the person. Don't think that, uh, uh, you're, that you're, you're a man. I, have, I, I sat down to analyze the life of a man, in what I call real man. I conclude that, it, this, that real man is a servant. That's my conclusion. But he should be a good servant. I'm a servant. Yeah, okay. Now, as every day, if, if I need whatever I'm doing, I, I serve my God. I serve my wife. That is it. So that it will be well with me. Because you cannot be taller than somebody and be shorter than the person. If you, you are too tall, think you are a man, you are big, this and that. If, if you know what, you think you know what a, a man knows, do you know what a woman knows? Uh, so it's better to lie low and be a good servant. And you see, that work of being a good servant, the man will be honoring you. You say, you are glorified, man, man. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ is not a fool. You know what he's doing. Uh, just be a good boy. <laughs> so that the heavens will reward you. <laughs> but the moment you bring out the man's ego, he goes, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. I'm this. I'm, I was there before Abraham. Whatever you see, you should take it to that is why I look at my young daughters here. Come on, there, I tell them, look before you leap. Make sure that you follow love. Love has evidence. You see this love, it has evidence. You bring one leg out. Watch the other person. As you bring one leg, the person draws the leg back. I, I, I beg you anywhere you are watching me, wait small. If you, if, if, you, if you does not bring that leg, he drew back out. Uh, think twice. If you, bring, if, if you take one leg forward, it, the man didn't bring any leg. You say, it's like this one I brought, it's not enough. Let me bring more again. You take this one. You are going, you know, as trail. <laughs> you are going as trail because... <laughs> And when it will happen, it will come too late. Because our people say the, the mouth they use in borrowing money. It's not the one they use in paying back. If, I, if people have come to borrow money from you. Huh? It's not the mouth they use in paying back. So, yes, they like to hear that word. Oh, I see your nose is like the nose of a dove. <laughs> that, I, oh, yeah, this and that, this and this. And. Is that what you are going to eat tomorrow? That mouth. Uh, they use in borrowing money. When the time comes, you will know that it is the same word they use in paying back. So, watch more of the actions, not the words. But also put the words into consideration. A man has, let's say, small money to buy slippers. He needs slippers, and you need slippers. Two of you need it. You say, it's a man you want to settle down with. He comes out, he sees the slippers. He prizes it. Your, your, your own. Then he says, okay, now let me. Uh, how much is this? As he's talking. Then you as a woman say, ah, no, no, buy, for, buy your slippers. 
Man, you sleep and say, man, you deserve it. Watch what he's going to say. If the man there eh, buys that slippers for himself first that day and say to your own, we'll come later, he has given you a sign. If you do not redress your step, I like a phone chicken. <laughs> because God values people that make sacrifice. It's as you make sacrifice, eh, you get something more. Are you hearing me? But you must be aware of craft. Craft is a very dangerous thing. You, know? you see this craft? Craft is very, very dangerous. You know? All this we are talking now, there are human beings that are craft. Hmm. Uh, if they trap you, you are finished. You know? That is, they will go to the root and thwart your destiny. Turn you into, 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 into what is zombie. Vandalize the, this. You see? So this is not the time for anybody to joke with you. Marriage is not something you should just rush because, uh, this. you know, some women, you see a man coming, oh, the man is what to do, and he's a child of God, he's a chosen one, you see a girl putting her, her, her throat in the, in the boy. What are they considering? There was one, of, one daughter of mine advised the Spirit of God to tell her not to marry a particular man. Do you know why she married the man? The man doesn't have anything to offer, but because the man is a man job. That's, uh, you know, this show that highlight. Like and this thing that the man and woman do on, on, on the bed. The man can do it standing. Hmm. And so the man, that's, that is uh, the same. Uh, like <laughs> and so the man, the woman was carried away. But today, the only number one problem she has in this world is the, is the man. The man has ruined her life. Does her value right on that my choice again? Well. <laughs> so you follow the word of Jesus Christ so that he will direct you. You see to that? I have to tell my wife, I say, listen, in the material world, the benefit of every man huh, is obedience, finish. The benefit of a man in marriage is not material. It's nothing than obedience. The moment a woman starts disobeying you, bring her to, to, to fall in line on the part of, the, of, the, of Jesus Christ. If the woman persists in that disobedience, constantly, constantly, they look for the black goat when it is there. Did they hear me so? Because the night comes when nobody will see the black goat. You see. But some of these mistakes are, you know, uh, disobedience can be not planned. You know, there are some people that are, that is, if you tell them to go east, they go west. <laughs> tell them to sit down, they stand up. And you know what that thing does? It didn't bring out the energy of anger in a man. One day, we will discuss what Carl Jung, one of the greatest psychiatrists in the United States, there was a statement he made, and that statement was decoded, or rather classified by advanced extraterrestrial intelligences. And it has to do with what is called the energy of man and woman, or the energy of woman and man, which is called anima and animals. That becomes part of, when, Carl, uh, when Jung said it, it Jung himself, Professor Jung, didn't understand the mysterious aspect of it. He was looking at, at it from the psychiatric point of view. But it was a scratch on the periphery, which was, which was not decoded by advanced intelligences, telling man the energy of man and woman, and the energy of woman and man. That brings, that brings about the basis of existence. It's a mystery, so one day we'll go into that. Meanwhile, before I conclude, I want to tell you, because some of you, anyway, you may watch this message uh, this New Year, uh, 2024, and uh, you will say, oh, where is the New Year message of the Happy uh, Judge of Take this message as a New Year message as well, or uh, one of the New Year messages coming from this channel, because our media team is recording this. But if you want to have some details related to some major events in the year 2024, I will advise you to tune to our second channel, namely the Mysteries of Existence channel. Mysteries of Existence channel. We intend to upload materials related to some classifications in the light of unfolding events in the world of man. Because next year, 
next year. It, what is going to play out next year in this planet as a whole? People will see it. You will see it. Because so many things are going on there. So, but in, in this channel, you know, we just finished Widow's Party, and now we are celebrating marriage anniversary. And before the media team will open, upload it, we have crossed over to Saturday. So, but if you want to follow us to know more about the new year, go to Mysteries of Existence channel. I, my media team have told me that they are going to post our normal episodes there and bring forth one interlude section that, have, that will deal with the divine message for the new year. Because there are more than the eyes can see. Once again, God bless you all. Rise up and let us pray. Father, we thank you for these words. Amen. Let these words be alive in our hearts. Amen. And let them be our fruits manifold. Amen. In the mighty name of the eternal, Amen. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Everybody thanks you for you. Are. You are so good. You are good. You are good. You are good. Everybody testify, you are so good, you are good, you Hallelujah, everybody testify, you are so good, Everybody testify, you are you are good, you are Hallelujah, everybody is born. You are so good, you are good. You are good. You, everybody is born. You are so good, you are good. Hallelujah, everybody is born. You are so good, you are good. Hallelujah, everybody testify. You are good. Everybody testify. You are good. You are good. Journal 28 is not easy. It's a kind of for their life. Look at both the couple. So lovely, lovely couple. So at this moment, they are about to cut the cake. So at the count of three, everybody will say thank you, Father. One, two, three. Thank, thank you, Father. Father. Happy. The Lord of all, you are my It's a privilege to have you again, sir. And I'm very happy. And also on the behalf of the media team, I want to congratulate you and our mom for you, 28 years sir, in marriage. It's not easy, sir. As we are looking up, people like myself are looking up uh, to you so that uh, when our time comes, we will learn from all the lessons that you have, uh, the admonitions that you have given out to us. And uh, sir, Love there's it. so many things happening in the world now, right now. So many people are anxious, you know, in a lot of dimensions, in Christian uh, dimensions and every other place. So many people want to know, sir, as 2024 is fast approaching, less than six days from today, what is the mind of our Lord, sir, for 2024? 
Because uh, on several Christian fora, so many people are even saying, even going as far as quoting Albert Pike's uh, uh, letter to Mazin, which was written in, 18, in the 18th century, stating that there will be three world wars, and 2024 happens to be a decisive year because of so many things happening worldwide. So, sir, what is your take on this, sir? And generally, for the whole world at large, including our great country, Nigeria. Yes, first of all, uh, Engineer Shegu uh, arrived. You are, I'm happy you are there with me and uh, you are presenting these issues. You know, we just uh, we are in the, still in the uh, celebration mood. You can see many people in my compound here rejoicing uh, regarding the, uh, um, the 28 years yes. anniversary of myself and Dr. Mrs. Emma Bong. With the man Nathan Uzoma. Yes, sir. You see, by the grace of God, biologically we have three children, you know, uh, and um, they are, they are, the last one is above 18, so we can say in certain sense that they are, they are grown up. Yes, and uh, related to uh, lessons we learn from one another, you know, I want to say that no one is an a land of knowledge. You understand me? Yes, sir. No one is an a land, an a land of knowledge, but the value of knowledge is the ability to communicate the same to others. So in the light of that, uh, you learn from me, I learn from you. Okay. I, for one, I learn from whatever that I can learn from. Even from the movement of the ants, I learn. From the light of the moon and the, and the stars and the sun, I learn. From the movement of uh, the winds that blow, you know, I learn. From the rainfall, I learn. From fellow men, women, women, children, and men are learned. So in the light of all these, uh, we can rightly say that no one is an island of knowledge. Exactly. Uh, but we can also add that the value of knowledge is the ability to communicate same to others. Of course. So what happens is that um, you have mentioned the year 2020. We are already there, yes. 2024. That's our Yes. And uh, by the time you are uploading this, we have entered into the new year. So I can yes. even rightly say happy new year to my viewers anywhere they are in the world now because uh, part of this is also a new year message yes. by the time you are the technical director of the media and you are in charge of this yes. and by the time you are putting this we have entered the new year exactly. so we can we can say happy new year to our dear viewers all over the world mm -hmm. and when you ask about what the new year holds in store you know for us as the mind of god for the sons and daughters of men you see uh, like as i said when i was speaking uh, i said that those who want to have sufficient information uh, from, from the having of the last governor, as related to the year 2024, they should assess our mysteries of our uh, existence. Uh, you are even the one uh, handling all this. Yes. You and uh, in Nigeria here, and you know, Dr. Moses mm -hmm. in the United States. And, uh, so uh, people should be encouraged to uh, watch that, uh, listen, listen to that YouTube channel. But in a, in, a, in a notion, I would say that man has to amend his ways. Yes. Because the focus that like the prophetic statement you made, you know, uh, those are from uh, certain scientific and psychic predictions. You see, prophecies, visions, dreams, trans experiences are subjective, related to different levels of man's involvement in the scale of existence. But when we talk about the mind of God, you understand, then it's a different issue entirely. Because some prophecies can come and can be abated within certain rudiments of activities or certain forces beyond the realm of the, pro of the, of the prophecy. You understand? But when we are talking about the divine plan of the almighty God of creation for the world of man, I can categorically tell you that we have, we have come to the final era of our fulfillment. You know, and I can also tell you that uh, things will play out that will propose to the world. Things will play out to the extent that even the proposed world war by humans. Eh? will be so configured in such a manner that you know, they will face what they never expected. It's just like the, the world will propose World War uh, you know, by, by humans in this world, in this world now. We should be compared like um, two chiefs. Eh? You can imagine maybe four armed robbers. They went and stole a car. And they are quarreling who will get the ownership. Four of them are quarreling among themselves. And you can imagine where I'm. Look at uh, our man here. He's a policeman. He's also in the anti robbery squad. He has been there. So you can imagine anti robbery squad well fortified like this, about 30 in number, going to confront those four chiefs. And the four chiefs are already divided. 
two on one side, two on one side, and they are struggling for what they stole. And the 40, uh, 40 or 30 legitimate forces of the government, police unit, comes and stops upon, upon them. They tell me, would they still be quarreling and struggling over that uh, vehicle? No, sir. Is it not uh, how they scale? No, we have to so find that, their the, the world should wait. The leaders of the nation should wait. And they are planning their own. Something beyond all that they are planning is coming to swallow up whatever they think that they are planning. And by then, eh, nobody is going to have uh, the, the strength to pilot, uh, 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 to, to pilot war plan. Nobody will be available to, to, to launch to launch MISA. Atomic bomb you see in our planet will be put out of use. You see that? Because th th this is the thing they are relying on. But they don't know what is coming. And because such a thing has never come, they don't also know it will come. So next year, everybody should watch out for the year 2024. What is going to play out? I think that's okay. You have another... no, I still have a question. Okay, sir. go ahead. Sir, will there be any sukkah for the chosen ones? Any what? Any sukkah, sir. Some form of relief. Economically, for the chosen ones, there yeah, will be not just economically. There are so many things going on now. You know, structures have to be put in, 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 in this in, in that have to be put in place in the spirit before its counterpart. So, what you, you, you may call fiscal actualization. A lot of structures are already put in place as I speak. Uh, the, what about the, the sons and daughters of Nagash, the, the old serpent, that have been in dominion of, the, of, of our planet? Eh? And you see, as, as they are dominion of our planet, don't you see one side weeping? And uh, as you see, people are complaining about not having this land. There are sites that have stuck, even in Nigeria here. How much do they prepare for the workers in Nigeria? It's, it's a Nigerian worker, it's not like slavery. Yes. When, when the, the money a worker eh, earns, uh, the, the list a worker earns, cannot buy him, uh, him or her a bag of rice. What about medical? What about it? Is that not slavery? But don't you also hear about people, I think some time ago, they said they broke the house of one man. Huh? And inside the uh, pillars, we are stopped. There's no yeah. dollars stopped there. Yes. So you see, the, they rejoice while others are weeping. So the reverse will also be the case. Oh. Huh? The sons and daughters of Nakash huh? are the ones programmed to go down. The chosen ones do not only have support. Let me tell you, in certain divine times, they are even to support themselves. It will be a mystery. Because justice has not happened. You know, when the Israelites were living the, the, uh, uh, this is the land of Egypt, did you remember how they were fed in the wilderness? Did they cook food? Yes. Uh -huh. So is it that power that did that and fed them mysteriously. Where is, you think it has gone? The power is still there. So that's what we are saying. That this, the, everything, the chosen ones are the prime base of concentration now. And they have succor. And the, the key of the support, the custodian, they are. As well as even the keys given to them. So even such time, they are to support themselves. Not, not even a single hair of theirs. Because one side, you see, the thing is that, like that, I'll take time to explain it in our new year message, Dota Plata. Uh -huh. Because let me tell you, the Lord told me, He said, darkness, darkness is from everlasting. You see, the mystery of life and uh, the, the mystery of light and darkness has not been solved by religion. Religion all over the world are scattered on the periphery of the mystery of light and darkness. And they, they are considering, they are scattering the periphery within the consideration of the entities. Within the, uh, under the manifestation of these two dimensions of light and that, what of the originating point? Do people, people don't know that there was something that possessed Lucifer. You, you have been told that Lucifer was an angel of light, isn't yes. it? Yes. Huh? And an uh, angel of light doing uh, good things, isn't it? Yes. Until one day something happened. That thing that happened, where did they come from? Oh. Religion doesn't discuss that. No religion discusses that. But we take time to handle such matter in the other chapter. Yes, can go ahead. Have yes, another. I still have a question, sir. Okay. It, it relates to Africa. That, that is, it, I have a question, sir. Yes. And it relates to Africa. Yes. Uh, you, you know, months back, several African nations were, I won't really use the word revolting, but the military in those countries started taking over. And um, even yesterday, sir, in a particular Christian uh, website, so many people were saying, is the same thing going to occur? In Nigeria, come 2024, as of as so nobody has been able to, um, there hasn't been any light shed on that side. Uh, the truth is that when you talk about the military, eh, whether in Nigeria or in any nation, or you talk about uh, politicians, eh, remember I have told you about two chiefs struggling for something. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And what about the police that came to here? They were just struggling that day. 
A time will come, all these people are mentioning will not even have. What is happening? What is going to happen? It's not for man. Nigeria, if, if anybody says that, uh, for instance, if Nigeria says that their, their solution will come from the military. Well, the military has been there all along. Did they bring any solution? No. Uh, they compounded the issue, isn't it? Yes, they even truncated so many things. And politicians are there. For instance, I'm talking about Nigeria now. Yes, and they're still uh, 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 behaving like this. You see, no matter whatever good intentions some leaders have, you see other people that are watching the good intentions, like the, the current president of Nigeria, eh? Asubaju uh, Ola Dinibu, His Excellency. I think this, I was, we were told that he gave some money to the states to share with the this city. Huh? Uh -huh. So, uh, I'm not aware if that money has gone to the district. Because the destitutes are on the street. The destitutes are not, are not chairman of local government. The destitutes are not our members in the state of House of Assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, the destitutes are the widows, the orphans, the poor. And uh, so, uh, we are still waiting for them to share those things. Uh -huh. But you see, you see his intention to do that. The governors may also have the intention to continue and then spread this thing. But let them be careful because along the line, if there's a spirit of chief among any, any subordinate, that may not get to the this. Because not, this is not the first time palliatives are shared in Nigeria, is it? Yes, sir. Because there was a time, they say, during the time of the former president, they also shared something during the COVID-19. Yes, sir. And uh, they, say, they say for the poor, the blind, the lame, the orphans. But you see that uh, this, uh, some of these politicians is, uh, stole the things and hid them in their enclaves and uh, to feed their families and their friends and boyfriends. You see, so that's the, the problem. And this is not the problem of Nigeria. It's the problem all over the world. But what we are saying is that what is going to happen in Nigeria, not in, in the world, has nothing to do with, uh, 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 with man-made. It's not man-made. Uh -huh. It's not man-made. Even those countries you mentioned that military are taking over. Uh, go there, you see some, see some people. Those politicians that you have, we still have their supporters. Mm. There's no country in this world now that the military will take over, that every citizen will rejoice. Because the politicians themselves also have their own supporters. Okay. They will not rejoice if the military, they, uh, those supporters will not rejoice. So it's civility. We're talking about what is going to bring family solution to the, to the, to the inequality and the vicissitudes in this planet upon all humans, anywhere they are. So at the division point is sheep, goat, the seed of Nakash, the old serpent, the seed of light. That is what we're talking about, not about uh, military or politicians. The, situation, the hope of the chosen ones are not in politicians. And the hope, the hope of the chosen ones are not in the military. But mind you, even as I make this statement, remember that the Lord can use whatever he wants to use. Of course, sir. Uh, yes, sir. This is that. So, so many things will play out. What the Lord has told me about the military, if I'm to tell you what the Lord told me about the military, specifically, what the Lord told me speaking about the military, not just in Nigeria, all over the world. He said, what is going to play out? The military has a role to play because of the kind of training they have received. You know, they have received hard training. Yes. So they have a role to play to help humans. Because a time will come that there will be dead bodies everywhere. No family will even have, as, that, as this one is crying, the other one is crying, the other one is lamenting. So the military will come in to help the bury people and others. Uh -huh. So the military, in the spirit, they are like exempted. They have a role to play uh, in that mission of the Holy Spirit. After, the, after they have finished, I'm not talking in terms of their taking over to rule anybody. I'm talking in terms of what is going to naturally occur on earth. Mass death, calamity that will take many lives. That COVID-19 will just be a tragic place. So the military in America, in Russia, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in uh, South Africa, in Kenya, in Jamaica, in there, all over the world. They will not, they, because they have no, nobody is fighting anymore. So they will come out with their equipment. They will go from places to places. They will help families and nations to bury the dead. But after that, huh? but after that, that, that doesn't mean that the military themselves all over the world will be exempted. I was told that they have assigned that they, they assigned that role. When they finish that role, they also face their own. So whoever is going anywhere you are, whether you are the military, whether you are the police, whether you are a politician, whether you are a pastor, whether you are an artificial, whatever you are, what is expected of you now in this planet is to follow the life of the Holy Spirit in light, in love, in peace, in mercy, so that you have a portion in the inheritance and light. Whoever is involved in wicked practices and he thinks that nothing will happen to him because he's a, a, a great man, whatever name is called, he should wait, the person should wait. They don't tell a death that war has come. What will soon play out will answer everybody in this planet. Sir, in as much as we, have, we want to have, we want to ask more questions. Go ahead, go ahead. We'll, okay, can we go ahead, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, sir, 
you mentioned uh, COVID nineteen a few seconds ago, sir. And uh, yeah. fortunately, the president of America, the present president of America, Joe Biden, said some days ago that there is going to be another lockdown. That this one will even be more severe than the one we experienced in 2020. So what is our father, the Almighty, saying in respect to this? Well, you can, you can agree with me here that what I'm sharing is not what uh, the President of America said, or what the President of um, Russia, or the President of Nigeria, or uh, France, or Germany, or anywhere. I'm talking about what the Lord that made all of this himself. But, but it is also possible for the, Lord, for the Spirit of the Lord to speak to you in order. Remember in the days of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Cephas, the high priest, made a statement in the, in the council of the Sehanji, of the chief priests and elders of the Jews, that it is better for one man to die than for the whole nation to be destroyed. And it was said, let us read in the scriptures there, that he said this by the Spirit of the Lord, that the Spirit of the Lord made him to, like it, like, like it was a prophecy. You understand? So it is left for the President of the United States to determine how he came about that calculation. Uh -huh. I am not a politician. I am not following uh, the human intelligence, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the material world, in the intelligence gathering, whether in the field of uh, the space probe or in the, in the uh, military uh, assessment and all that. No. Beyond all this is, is the truth, is the, is the Lord. Huh? So we are saying well, that what the Lord is going to do, COVID-19 will be a child display. What the spirit of the Lord has even even the bees and child that we play this have come. They are not even considering our atomic bomb. What is our that our atomic bomb and all this? They are like tons. So now, well, of course, when calamity comes to the earth, there will be a lockdown. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Lord, what is lockdown? Lockdown simply means that some some people cannot travel as as they are to travel. That there will be restrictions. Even when certain things when they begin to play out, even if government doesn't announce restrictions. You no, know, people will be restricted by the, by what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So uh, something is going to happen on earth that has not happened since the beginning of the world. And the, the, the time is now. You see, that's what we are saying. That is the New Year message. That everybody should be careful and nobody should think that because it has prospered the wickedness that it will continue. People should begin to redress their steps. You understand? Yes, and uh, move, uh, move back, move, move to the originating point of where man, mankind started in light in love. People should not be foolish. People should practice love. They should follow the way of love and the way of peace so that it will be well with all of us on this planet. In the mighty name of the internal. Amen. So we are very grateful for the time you have given us. And we also want to congratulate you and our mommy again for uh, 28 years. It's not easy, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that journey, sir. Well, we thank the Almighty Father, sir, for everything. So at this point, I will say thank you for your time. The Lord God bless you. Amen. My beloved Shegu. All right. Amen. And the Lord bless the entire media team Amen. and all those that are with me here. In the mighty name of the internal. And all those that are watching this episode anywhere they are on the planet. Let the spirit of the Almighty Father bless them all. In the mighty name of the internal. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you.